here's a video of how I made this DIY pull-out waste bin um, cabinet drawer. So first thing that I did was make this drawer. Um, I made sure that the width of this drawer is one inch shorter than the width of the opening of the cabinet because you have to have enough half an inch for the rails on both sides. And after I made the drawer, I went and got the rails that fit perfectly on the drawer and put them on inside here. So these supposed to have this like little plastic thing that you put inside there. I couldn't get it to work. I made the hole, but I couldn't, I just, I, I quit. So I ended up just doing the screws right there and right here and it works perfectly fine. It holds really well. And after that, I put on the reels, the other side with, there's, Marcel, where are you going? Where are you going, buddy? But I added these rails um, on here. And so for this, I made this cabinet door myself. It's a shaker style cabinet door. Um, then I went out and got these brackets from Home Depot. They were, I would say like six bucks each. Um, I could be wrong though. And then, so after I attached the door, I added three screws right here and you have to keep in consideration to where it has to go through this and then a little bit and make sure not to get... What are you doing? What are you doing here? What are you doing? But keep, keep in mind to put screws that are not too long where it fits through here and then um, that it doesn't go through the door. And that's why I kind of added this wood piece right here because I didn't have any other shorter screws at the house at the moment. So I had no patience and just added this wood piece and then used the screws that I had at the house. These bumpers, um, that's the, the cabinet door bumpers or the drawer bumpers, they're important to have, especially so whenever you close it and especially with kids, which they tend to slam it more. Um, you don't want to have wood on wood, um, you know, whenever you slam the door so it won't break or chip the, the door. That's my little son. He is 11 months old and he likes to wander around wherever I'm doing stuff. But he likes messing in the cabinets. That's also, I have to finish those doors. Um, I have to finish the drawer faces. The trash bin that we use inside is uh, just one of the regular seven and a half gallon. We got it from Walmart like five years ago, um, but it fits perfectly inside to where I still have enough space in the back to leave all my extra bags and stuff like that. And then the nice thing about having these rails, um, they kind of keep it to where it doesn't tip from side to side. But I've noticed every time we open the trash the trash cabinet drawer um, we only open it like halfway through and end up throwing it out so it already doesn't I don't know it doesn't fall out or anything I haven't had issues with that and then if you do have a drawer on top you don't want to keep anything from related to the kitchen in there it's our drunk drawer In the video I have more videos coming up about the remodeling things that I did in the kitchen and if you guys have any suggestions of videos to make um, let me know in the comments below what you guys would like to see and um, keep in mind that I'm a stay-at-home mom that is 24 and I don't have experience in this in remodeling or in anything so I'm just kind of doing what I've seen on Pinterest and I don't know, I guess attempting it for myself and then trying to use what I have at the house already. If you guys like that kind of content, um, if you'd like to subscribe and see more, then yeah, hit that subscribe button. Thank you.